Hey YouTube fam, what's going on? No to fake Jays here today. I wanted to show you a quick video of my Jordan 5 T23 customization. Um, when the shoes came out, um, I was really stoked. I was really hoping to get a pair, but unfortunately it was only released in Tokyo and they're going for about 25 to five grand on eBay. So I figured eh, I'm not gonna get a pair there. So I decided to customize my own. Uh, I took the, the uh, Jordan 5 Royal stealth blue um and as a base shoe and um and yeah check it out so first i started out with the yellow paint i had to add a couple drops of white um, or mix a couple um couple drops of white to kind of you know off you know to make the light make the yellow a little bit lighter and then of course i had to in order to make this look like the suede like the original um, I had to put um, dollar in my paint as well. I mixed it. Um, had to do a couple of trial and error, and uh, I think the result came out pretty well. As you can tell, it's not glossy at all, and that was the look that I was trying to go for. Um, the other part, of course, is the T23, um, which took me a while to kind of think of a way to to put that on the shoe. Um, I ended up using um, basically stencil T23 on a on a piece of uh, white sticker and um, you know cut out the outline and then taped it on the shoe and then used a flat black paint to paint over it. Um, I believe there are stencils made out there for this type of work um, and, and, um, and they do a pretty good job of just sending you that stencil so that you can just apply it on there but I had to kind of think of a way to you know make my own so um it actually turned out i thought it turned out pretty well i when when i first did this um after i took off the sticker uh the black paint was just like running everywhere so i had to kind of touch up a little bit you know add a little bit more yellow uh, just so that i can you know make it look clean um uh, for the side netting here uh, i just painted bone bone gray and then same thing with the inner Net netting as well as the uh, the the uh, lace loops uh, lace holes here okay uh, as for the uh, inner sock lining uh, as you can tell the original was blue right there and then um, uh, but I painted it gray okay. now for the back part uh, the jump man is blacked out and then for the side here um, the black is glossy versus the white here is more of a flat uh, flat white uh, did some speckles on the on the flame there on the side and then um, and then you can tell the bottom sole is still you know the royal uh, stealth royal blue okay I didn't do anything there um, and then the uh, jump man on the tongue is grayed out to match the uh, inner sole I mean inner lining of the shoe all right, so yeah, just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick video of this customization. I'm actually very, um, very uh, content of how it turned out. Um, and, um, and I just wanted to kind of show people that this can be done. You just have to kind of mix and, you know, trial and error. Um, if you want to get a pair yourself, then just, um, you know, let me know if you have any questions on how to customize this. Um, it did take me a, a, quite a bit of a long uh, time to kind of come up with a game plan and, and then and then you know finally executing it so uh took a lot of time and patience and uh, but it can be done so and i actually have seen some other customizations for this type of shoe with t23 so you can check it out in youtube um but yeah but anyways uh just wanted to kind of let you guys know and um you know let me know if you have any qu questions or comments um and um, i will see you next time i in my comment in my video all right peace out